Hello everybody. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, there's a couple things I want to just get through before we move on to this project. I just wanted to congratulate Barbara Struck Stephenson. She is one of the winners from the Jangle Block Reindeer Contest I had and she got two boxes of blocks. And I'm still waiting for a response from Kirsten Kelly. If you could message me on the Crafty Shopper Facebook page or Instagram page with your address, that would be great. So I can send you out two bo boxes as well. Uh, I will be giving out some more Jingle Blocks in the future. So keep an eye on my videos. Um, don't mind my nails. They're all chipped and not looking so festive. I helped a friend move a bunch of wood at his cabin and they look horrible and I haven't had time to fix them. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I've seen a couple crafters make a sleigh. I thought it was great when I did my rustic Jenga block reindeer and then I did the bling one. I thought a sleigh would look awesome. I know Christmas is over, but I'll probably forget to do it next year. And I'm just gonna do the one and I'm gonna use the Dollar Tree one. I am gonna do the one uh, according to size with the bling reindeer that I did. If you haven't seen the video, you can look back on my tutorials uh, at the top of my page here and you can go down the list and it will let you know. So, and I have a little trick that I'm gonna show you that I tried tonight, which I was super funny. It has to do with my nails, but anyways, you'll uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, so we're going to, it's going to take 154 blocks. So that's just over two boxes of $72 tree blocks. I am going to use my well bond as I always like. So what we're going to do is start with the base. So you're going to need 32, four and down by eight. I'm gonna start with the base. So I already glued them together. I just thought it was easier to glue them. I don't think you guys wanna see me glue them. So we're just gonna go piece by piece off camera. As we go along, I'm gonna shut it off and glue them and let them sit. Now I know a few people had a problem with, and we all get excited. I know when we start gluing crafts together, even though it glues really fast, it's almost like, um, how can I say? It's almost like, you know, when you use the, the Cricut adhesive uh, stickers, they go on right away, but you need a couple. I always give overnight at least to do a good solid, you know, it ferments and it goes really well. If you rush things, sometimes things don't glue properly and they seem, this has been about six hours for this one, but it's always good to, to leave them overnight. And even before you paint them, just so it cures better. That's just my opinion, but okay. So we're going to need the 32 blocks on the bottom. This is going to be the base. We're, we're not going to do the bottom of the of the sleigh until near the end. So we're going to need the 32. So then we're going to do the back base, which is 18. So it's nine by nine going upwards like this. We're going to do the front base, which is nine so you can see that they're sticking out on both ends and that's the way we want it. And then we're gonna do the side front. Now the side front, I got some of them glued here. I'm just gonna do this so it doesn't blend in. So six, three on top of three, and then put on sideways two on top. And it's gonna go like that going to do the exact same thing times two. That's another nine. It's going to go here. Then we're going to move to the back, uh, still at the front, uh, back of the sleigh. Oops, I knocked the camera. We're going to do six and then we're going to do we're going to have a lip. So then you're going to do it flat ways and glue it on like that but you're gonna want the lip to hang over the opposite side. I discovered a little trick too um, for a tool to with Jenga, and I think that will change the whole game with Jenga, and I'm really excited to show you guys, but anyways. 
So then we're gonna do the front, still at the, the back, the back side front, or the back side. And we're gonna do three on the bottom, two glued like this. We're gonna do the lip put on the insides because it hangs over. We're gonna do it on the inside. And times two, make sure the lips hanging on the inside. Now, the front part, so we have the nine I already showed you. We're gonna do three and three with another lip hanging over and the lips gonna hang out the front side, like such. The next front side we're gonna do is three and two stacked on top. Once again, the lip hanging on the inside. So it's only the front and back that you're gonna have them hanging outside and the other front. And then exactly, again, the exact same idea, the lip hanging on the front. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna show you the seating after, but I am gonna glue these together and I am gonna let them dry overnight and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so I decided to come back and just show you, that I just recently just put this on two seconds ago and I don't, before it sets, but the seating I have, now I wanna stick the seating in here and I'll show you because I'm gonna lift these off and then I'm gonna glue it all really tight. So the seating, um, you could put the smaller one that would just have been eight block or eight, just one side, but I wanted a little bit bigger seating. So I'm using eight by eight, which is 16. And I'm just gonna show you while this is drying, I'm gonna stick it and glue it right under where these handles are. If you can see that I'm gonna stick some glue right under here to get there as well as here and on the sides just to let you know all right so i wanted to show you the difference i know a lot of people ask me about using dt to the other blocks that i use from dollarama or walmart you can get and i wanted to show you the difference that i found all my projects you can do with the dt blocks now these are the dt ones when you're building, you know, you move some sideways like such. I'm just gonna show you an example because I've built so much stuff with the Django Blocks ones. Now, these are the other ones that I've used. Now, as long as you can do a square like that, I'm just showing you lengthwise to make sure it fits so three to one. So anything I build with any other blocks than the DT can be used. The only difference, is, as I always tell everybody, is size. Now I'm gonna show you one block, a box of Jenga tumbling tower blocks that don't work. Uh, I did try doing, and I'm trying to remember which project. It was something a little while ago, and I kept the box. These blocks really don't work well together, and I'm gonna show you why. There's the example there. I don't even remember where I got these blocks actually, and I've only had one box of them. I'm gonna show you why. I always found when building, usually, you're always gonna end up building something that turns one way or another, that it evens out. With these blocks, first of all, they're more, as you can see, they're more square. They're almost the same width, but they're more square. They don't fit on, it would be impossible to build anything if you can't make even a solid wall straight without everything going one way. So if you buy, don't buy these blocks, if you're building something, I don't know, if you're regular Jenga, you wanna play the game, but you're, they're never gonna, they're never, you're never gonna be able to use it. I just wanted to show that. And I just wanted to mention, because a lot of people tell me that, oh, you made them with regular blocks. Why can't I do it? The only difference will be size. All right, S saying that, so I'm gonna show you the, I had it glued, when I did glue it together and I put the seat in, 
I did use a couple wood cubes and I stuck them underneath. Oh, maybe it wasn't these wood cubes. I have a couple wood cubes here glued together. I kept them underneath here just to keep it up. And I actually just put some extra glue, turn it upside down a couple hours later, and I've let it dry overnight. So I am going to paint this. I'm going to do this because when I move on to the next step, I am going to move on to the next step shortly. I'm going to do a bling one. Um was going to do the regular, you know, the red with, but I'm going to do like a blingy one. Uh, could match my little Dollar Tree reindeer. So I am going to paint this. I am going to use Mod Podge and I'm just going to use some Dollar Tree glitter. So I am going to use this stuff on it. Now I will show you, uh, I'm going to show you a part of it because I was going to, um, you know what, I'm just gonna show you all of it now and then I'm gonna paint and then I'll come back and show you. So there is something I'm gonna do to this, but I'm gonna show you right now. Sorry, I bumped the camera again. The bottom part of the sleigh. Now the bottom part of the sleigh, I was playing around with all these over here. You're gonna need 12, so I just put them one on top of the other like such 12 one on one 12 on the other side this one looks a little bit crooked and i'm gonna do two supports right like such these are just two like that wood cubes stackable i'm actually going to put them right on the line when i glue them and the base part i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do black glitter i'm going to use mod podge and black glitter now for the front of this is the funny part i was going to tell you about my nails i know my nails look horrid when i was telling you about my nails um before i started the video I was just like, oh, well, how, you know, I really wanted it to look like on the front. I'm going to move this, you know, on the front. So I'm like, wood cubes. I'm like, I really wanted it, which is fine. It's just, I wanted something different. So I was thinking about this nail file I have and I got it from Wish. I don't even know, a couple of years ago for $4. And, oh, it's not plugged in. It's with a wire. I just wanted to show you it. Um, and I was like, I wonder if that would work if I could use this as a file. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try. <laughs> so three on top, two in the bottom. I've come up with this. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I said, at least it was a little bit more rounded. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm probably going to play with a little bit more. So today after work, I actually stopped by my local hardware store, the Home Depot. And I actually thought, wow, you know what? This cha this takes it a little bit step further. I end up buying this one. I'm just gonna show you here. It's just a little handheld. I haven't even opened the box yet because I'm gonna use it on this other one. <clears throat> and I also too, I was using, I don't have it here beside me, just the nail file. I was just, because I'm going to use glitter, I wouldn't even need to really buff it. But if you were just going to paint it like say black or like just with acrylic paints, I would really suggest like doing buff it so that you don't see the marks on it. But I thought it turned out pretty well as opposed to uh, just having it plain. Now that's just my, my preference on that. So I am going to try this one. Um, but I thought it was funny that, I thought, oh, a nail, you know, my nail drill, I wonder if it'd work. And, you know, it did pretty good, but I noticed the file from it wasn't, uh, was starting to wear out a bit. So I'm going to try this one to finish the rest. I just went around. You can play with it as much as you want. You can make it more rounded. Uh, I, like I said, I was just playing around with it. I thought it looked pretty good. And I thought, you know what, that tool would be really good for many other crafting projects because the Dremel is uh, a crafting tool, just uh, like the saw I got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I am gonna do that. I am gonna file a little bit, and I'm gonna show you this on the angle here. 
just where it's square here, I'm gonna make it a little bit more round. I am gonna do the round part here. I'm gonna file this corner off, both sides. I'm gonna leave these sides as such, and I'm just gonna file on here as well, just to make it a little bit more round. I'm gonna do that with my new tool. I am gonna add two Jenga pieces, so I'm just gonna show you right now. So those are going up to, so now the total Jenga blocks is 156. I am gonna take two pieces, and I didn't want to stick, have the footing sitting out like that. And so they actually will just fit in. So now it has just a nice clean look to it. Then as opposed to leaving it open. So I am, am going to add those two pieces on as well. I'm going to glue those on. So let me get this bottom glued. I'm going to do, before I put the glue these ones together i'm just going to do the the glitter i'm going to let those dry and do the black glitter then i'm going to come back and show you the final product on the video you will see in the bottom right corner there is a subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll be back shortly all right i just wanted to show you on the bottom of the sleigh so i did use my tool and I love it. This is a game changer for working with Jenga blocks. So as you can see here, um, I did round. I was just gonna leave it like that. And I think I got to saw happy, uh, filing happy. What I did was here, I made it more round, as you can see, compared to this one. And I thought it looks a lot better. It's more rounded, like a bottom of a sleigh would look like. So I just wanted to show you this. So now I'm going to use my Dollar Tree never carries um, black glitter. They always have every other color, but never black. So I'm just going to use this extra fine glitter that I have from Michaels. Just going to use the Mod Podge and do a couple coats usually. I actually paint the, I should have painted the the sleigh part itself silver before I put the glitter because then you have to use more coats of glitter. I'm probably going to walk around about four days with glitter. It's such a, I love working with it, but it's so messy. But I'm just going to do that and then I am going to show you uh, when it's attached and then how I'm going to decorate. All right, so I just wanted to show you the ending of it. So it turned out really well. I really like the bling. I did just put a piece of fur, which was just from a, a Dollar Tree muffler. I guess it was like a neck warmer, and I just cut it down. I did add some, just a garland that's on the front of it. Pretty simple, and I also did it on the back. I think it turned out really pretty and I just stuck a gnome you could stick a Barbie you could stick a elf on the shelves I just stuck a bag of diamonds in there let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you for watching and I just wanted to mention that after I did do the um, the two coats of the glitter I used two bottles of glitter and a bottle and three quarters of Mod Podge but when you're using the sander or when you're using the cuddle, cutting tool, because I know some of you guys bought the cutting tool that I use in for my um, Jenga block truck, just make sure you wear safety glasses just to be on the safe side. You know, always protect your eyes. The final coat over it, I did not do a final coat over it. I actually used Walmart Mod Podge Spray. I'm not, it comes in a can, you can buy it at Walmart. It was pretty inexpensive and it cuts you down on time for painting another coat to seal all the glitter so that you don't end up having glitter everywhere you, every time you touch it. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon and I hope you guys are all doing well. Bye.